Um, in the last lesson, we uh, forgot to save this. So you can come up here, click on Save As, and save it in Documents or someplace. OK, so um, in this lesson, we are going to be looking at some folders, Model, View, and Controller. Uh, the controller has one file in it, and uh, View has a layout folder, and Model has concern folder. But they're all empty um, at the moment. So we'll start with um, the model. So the model basically connects our code to the database. So it's very, very important. Um, before, before we start, so we have full name, username, and password. So we want to generate a model um, that basically instructs our database to create um, a database. So we have um, in our gem file, we have um, gems. So these are third party codes that we can use. We want to activate uh, bcrypt. So this allows us to encrypt passwords before saving them in a database. All right, so we say bundle install, and this will go into our gem file and installs all the dependencies that we need. So I'm already using bcrypt. Okay, so once you've done that, um, you can come back and say Rails generate a model, a singular moderator, and then now we'll give it the fields that we want. So its full name is a type of string, uh, username is a type of string, and password, we'll say password underscore digest, uh, because we're using B, um, bcrypt, and it's also a type of string. So enter, and we have two files generated, okay, a migrate and uh, a model. Okay, so let's have a look at the migration. So uh, migrate has this generated for us. So this is a class called create moderators. It has a method inside it and it has um, all these fields to create. Um, if we have a look at the model that was created for us, it's just an empty model at the moment. It hasn't got any information in there. All right, so bcrypt has a method, has secure password, which we have to copy and paste here. Okay, so this basically says when you try to save a moderator, check if it has a secure password, uh, password digest field, and and um, hash that password. We'll have a look and see now. So it's a rake db migrate. So that's how we run our migration files. So that's done. So it's taken that code and it's created a table for us. So we can have a look and see the newly created table. So if we go into our development, we can see this is a table contents, a database, and here is a schema for the table. So we have um, a few additional fields in there for us, uh, created that and updated that. Okay, so to view our database properly, we can use the SQLite uh, Studio that we downloaded and installed earlier. Um, up here, we'll click um, our database and browse to your Rails blog, okay, and in there we have a DB folder, and then click on Development uh, SQLite 3, and then OK that. So now we have our DB. So double click on this it will give you our moderators uh, table. We also have our schema migrations, but we're not worried about that for now. So double click on moderators and try to resize. It's a bit fiddly. Um, Yep, and drag it down and drag these bits here down that way. So this is our table, our moderators table. We have um, the fields in there. There's no data in, no data in there at the moment. So this is the structure of the database. So now we want to uh, seed our app. So to do that, um, we have this seeds.rb.ruby um, file. Because we're mod moderators basically need to exist in the system, so it makes sense for us to manually uh, create that. So we say our moderator uh, model uh, create a new moderator for us. So we give it some credentials. So the fields in the, in the database has a full name, and we'll give it a full name. It has to be a string. So we'll give it the quotations, and then 
uh, the second field is a username. So this is very similar to um, CSS if you did that in previous projects. It looks very similar to it. And we'll have password, which I just put example as a password. Okay, I just return. We don't have to put this on the whole line of its own. All right, so now that we've um, we've put some seed data there, we can say rake uh, db seed and enter. And that's all we, we do. So this will run, uh, use our newly created model and seed our database with the information that we've given it. So now when we uh, go into data and refresh, we can see our DB has some data in there. And you can see password has is actually hashed. The password is a sample, but it's hashed. So it's a lot more secure. So this, this, um, this is looking good. And if we just come back here, we can say Rails console, C for console. So this is another way to view the information. So that's a moderator model dot all and enter. So this gives us all the uh, the records that we have in the database. And to exit from this, just type exit and enter. So here again, we can see the password digest is um, hashed for us. Okay, so we've seen how we've, um, we've used has secure password to hash passwords. Um, we've had a look at gems and we used the bcrypt gem. There's a few other gems that we can use. Rails is actually a gem on its own. And we have um, a few more models to, uh, to create. So we have quite a few of them. And I will go into detail about classes and methods and make sure that you understand everything. So I'll see you in the next lesson.